Well, we're just going to have to get John and Patrick to sit on those bags until they get closed. Well, the thing of it is, I'm sure I've forgotten something I always do. Toothbrush? Mm-mm. Bathrobe? No. Unmentionables? Percy, no. <laughs> Don't laugh. I left on a month trip one time, forgot to pack my underwear. Good Lord. What did you do, child? I managed. Oh, please, I don't want to hear about it. It's all over me. <laughs> now, uh, did I remember to pack the cigars for Redmond? Yes, you did. And do I have all the odds and ends for the children? That's right. I'm sure you did, because I remember you putting them into the case. Well, Hi. Uh, hello, oh, darling. Oh, I'm so glad you made it here. Oh, would I miss seeing you off? Hello, yeah. Mayor. How are you? Oh, I hate it. You're going already. Ma, it'll seem so strange without you. <laughs> well. But have a beautiful time. Hi, hon. Hi, Mayor. Is Jack here? Downstairs. Ryan still has a stuffy nose, so I thought I'd better, to, you know, leave her home with a sitter. Oh, well, give her a big goodbye hug from me. Oh, uh, sure. Before I forget. For you, for me, for going away. <laughs> what is it now? Booties. Oh, I remember on our trip, one of the hard reasons of being able to fall asleep in a plane is you can't take your shoes off. Oh, and these will keep our feet warm so we can. Well, isn't she a great girl? <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you, darling. These are really neat. I could just a pair of these myself. Yeah. Cushy. Now, have you got everything together? Oh, I'm only hoping. I keep thinking that there's something that I'm forgetting. Do you have the zip-in lining to your coat? You took it out the other night when it turned mild. Oh, I, the very thing. I left it hanging on the hook in the back closet. I'll take this. All right, I'll go and get it. Mm. Good. I've been wanting to have a moment to talk to you two. Please, sit down. Let me have a word with you. Oh, boy. What, Ma? Now, I just hope, it'll be my fondest hope, that you two see fit to keep the peace around here while I'm gone. Oh, sure thing. Why not? You should be too old for this lecture, but nevertheless, please, I don't want to hear that things erupt between the two of you just out of habit while I'm away. I mean, your father's going to have enough on his hands. I don't see any problem. We've been getting along just fine. We hardly see each other. <sighs> Maybe that's why. Anyway, we don't really have anything to fight about at the moment. Well, as I recall, you two never lacked for originality in that department. <laughs> now, just promise me. Yeah, we will. Do you want us to sign in blood again? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> don't you remember? The last time you sat us down like this, you were going home for Grandma's funeral? Oh, yes. You were 14 at the time. Yeah, I was 12. It was just like this. You made us promise to be good. And it was such a sad time that we didn't want to fail you. So I drew up a solemn oath and I made us both sign it in blood. <laughs> I thought it was pretty infantile. But she stabbed me with a safety pin. Oh, well, I didn't know about that. But it must have worked because, as I recall, you two were fairly well behaved. Well, we, for your sake, behaved like the Dolly sisters in public. Actually, in the kitchen, there was guerrilla warfare going on. She was wretched. I was. Who made the alterations to the menu? Alterations, nothing. You deserved it. She was so busy bossing me around, she decided she was going to do all the creative cooking and I was only fit for the scullery duty. And would you believe this? Every night, she puts her own name on the menu beside the specials. Mary's Irish stew, Mary's meatloaf, and Daddy let her do it. Help me forget. I got so fed up with her egomania that I decided to make a few little additions of my own on the sly. A little uh, half a can of nutmeg into the Irish stew. A little garlic here and there. Oh, no. The best part was when you caught me uh, putting Julianne's cat food into the meatloaf. Oh, Lord, deliver me. Get any more information before I reach the grave. Well, your father said that you were wonderful. Of course, we lost a little of the clientele, and now we know why. He thought it was because they missed me. Oh, Ma, we won't let anything like that happen this time. We promise. Well, Word of honor. Grateful of the two of you beyond those kinds of tricks. But please, take what I say to heart. I don't want to have to worry about trouble between the two of you.
no matter what you think of Wes Leonard, he certainly has a way with the word. Yeah, he sure does. Well, listen to this, will you? Our suburban dwellers who bask in home ownership and the possession of a car for every member of the family over 16 might find it hard to fathom. But what's happening on Corbett Avenue, Riverside, Manhattan, New York City, is in effect a microcosm of the plight of urban America. Now that is award-winning journalism if I ever read it. Yeah, West won a prize last year for the longest sentence printed in a newspaper. Yeah, well, Jack, I know that if you'd wanted to stand by Siobhan and write a column on the rent strike, you could have done a good one, too. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Ryan. Stand by Siobhan. What? Idiot. Oh, yeah. Wes will stand by Siobhan. She'll end up in a hospital with a busted head. Oh. Ah, never mind him, Jack. You know, John does realize what he's saying half the time. Oh, that must always be the half when he's talking to me. Hmm. Giovanni, I've been calling you on the phone. Kevin, how are you? Mr. Marino, it's so nice to see you. Jumbo, good to see you. Yeah, hey, you're just in time for the going away party. Who's going away? Oh, uh, Maeve's sister Annie, going back to Ireland. And Maeve's going with her for a visit. So stick around with you and uh, we'll raise a goodbye toast, all right? Good, thanks. Oh, which reminds me, I gotta see about the bubbly. Uh, excuse me. About that real estate business. I'm sorry I couldn't get back to you soon. That's okay. Uh, what'd you find out? Not much. That's the trouble. They got some cover. Ah, oh, that's what I figured. What about uh, Paul? You find out anything about him? Strictly small potatoes. He runs those five buildings that West Leonard wrote about today. That's all. But CP Realty is owned by another company. And they are owned by another company, right? Right. How big? Very big. So big they got their fingers in real estate all over. All over the five boroughs. Most of it crummy, most of it full of violations. So much they ought to be out of business by now. But they're not. Which means they probably got friends in high places. Right. When my friends started asking questions, everybody clammed up. Organized crime? Possible. Very possible. But all covered up. And there's nobody to mess with. Very, very tough. That's what I was afraid of. Well, I wonder how Siobhan's gonna take this little piece of information. Ah, there you are. Oh. Am I needed? In a little while to help carry the bags. Why are you all alone? Because well, nobody was here till you came in. Oh. Uh, I'm making a sandwich. Do you want one? No. Yeah, wait. Cut some more of that. I'm gonna make something for Annie and Ma to take along with them. You're very sober. Well, I never smile when I operate. Oh. I'm sorry, anyway. You've got a lot to be sober about. I'm sorry about what happened with Faith. Well, what can you do? I can't go out and tie one on because I gotta report for duty. Wild living is out of the question because I can't afford it. I don't have the time. So, I'm just gonna hang on to the positive feelings and good times that we had together and wish Faith luck. Good. You're so good. Not good. Just practical. I mean, it took me a while to get my head this straight because I was pretty mad at first. Oh, I should think so. I'd have been furious. Is there any news about Tom? Um, yeah. He's at home with the nurse. Oh. That's gonna be an awfully big adjustment for him. Miss Hayes? Oh, no, it's Delia. Welcome home. Uh, you don't mind I came up here, do you? I mean, uh, I thought it was because of Faith, basically, and, uh, well, I thought that probably someday we could be friends, and 
And I thought maybe now was a good time. Now? Yeah, now that you're normal. I, I mean, now that you're feeling better. Oh, I'm so happy about your operation. Oh, isn't Roger wonderful? Um. Oh, I am sorry about your eyes, though. Uh, he did say, though, that, that your sight might come back. Yes, there is that possibility, yes. I, I was so surprised to, um, to hear your footsteps. I, I said to myself, I didn't think, um, Tom was back up there. I mean, I, at least I didn't think that Tom was up there with the faith. That doesn't necessarily follow. But I will be staying here for a while. Oh? Well, I, I, I thought Faith was... Well, she was... She's helping you, isn't she? I mean... I have a nurse. Oh, well, of course. But, I mean, Faith is responsible. And, and she does... <sighs> Delia, I'm very tired. Would... Oh, of course, Nora. Look, I I'm sorry. Well, after all that you went through, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Having those seizures and not being able to remember anything. Faith is really incredible. That's all I can say. I mean, there she was at the holiday time with Patty. And we thought that they were so happy. You know, I, uh, I never thought they belonged together anyway. Did you? Actually, I haven't the slightest interest in discussing Patrick, Faith, or myself, or any combination thereof. And if you're suggesting that they're still in love, well, that's certainly none of my business. Not your business, that's your wife. I've always been aware of the fact that Faith isn't in love with me. I don't know, sometimes. They, they're very changeable, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Tilly, why do, you, why do you keep moving about like that? Oh, well, I was just looking at the apartment. I, I always loved it. Could I get you something? No, thank you. you. You know, I know what it's like to be blind, remember? You know, the worst thing about being blind is that you have to depend on people for every little thing. But you know what I did? I'll tell you what I did, and I think you had to do the same thing. I got this little teeny weeny bell, and every time I needed something, I just rang this bell, and there was Patty. <laughs> yes, well, I imagine that was very satisfying, but I'd prefer not to do that, however. Well, I guess you're better at being blind than I am. On the contrary, I doubt I enjoy it as much as you seem to. At least, if my sight returns, I plan on making the fact known. That's nasty. Look it, I'm a member of the family. You could at least try to be nice to me. And I only came out down, I, I only came to you out of the goodness of my heart because I mean, you might be a little lonely and you need some kind of comfort. The nicest thing you could do to me this moment would be to leave now. OK, fine. Fine, you want me to leave? I'll leave. All right, I'll leave. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you, when you're sick or you need something, you better be very nice to people because they tire you very, very quickly. <laughs> I don't know why they won't let me carry my own bags. I'm oh. perfectly willing and able. Well, if it gives them pleasure, let them do it. That's what I always say. Ta da! Goodies <laughs> for the airplane. Oh, oh sure. Never oh, trust the food. Oh, this one's really. Oh, Johnny, let me get here. It's all right. I got it in already. He's got him. He's got him. Come on. Ah. Oh. Just out of curiosity, Aunt Annie. What is in that one? On the Books, corner. Oh. Mostly. Well, I should think. Yeah, oh. your mother took me downtown last week. Where was it? Fourth Avenue. Yes. 
And there was one big bookstore after another with lovely dusty volumes that I knew Maggie would love. So there was a whole match set of Mark Twain in there. Oh, that's what it was. This is it. Special occasions. Family, friends, relatives. And here we are, here we are. I'll take one for me, myself, for you, my dear. Are we all ready? We're all set. Champagne. Well, it's far from champagne. I was reared. Look at that now. Look at that hand. Steady as a rock. Who would have believed it? I owe a lot of thanks to all of you, but especially to this fella. Uh, here, right. here, here. Yeah. We tried right. to tell you, Annie. I know, but I'm ashamed to say that I doubted you. <laughs> I thought that I was coming over here to say goodbye, and now there's years ahead. Yes. It's been a wonderful trip, despite the sadness. And I thank you all. I do love you. All right. <laughs> Make oh, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> quiet! <laughs> A little respect. <laughs> I give you, and you, <laughs> Annie Barry, oh, the best of sisters yes. and sister in laws, favorite of aunts, and the best friend of just about everybody she's met since she's been over here. <laughs> you lit up the place when we needed it the most. I hope you know you're, you're bringing as much love away with you as you brought with you. That's so true. That's right. Here, here. Granny. <laughs> Granny. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. How could I fail to know that, John? When we unlatch the door to our father's house and take the boards off the windows Ooh. and we know it's all happening because of you. I think we should drink to that. Oh. John Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, do you think Skibberine is going to survive this visit? Mother, are you going to ride through the center of town on a plow or singing that song? Yes, I'm going to Donegan's that. daughter. Yes. 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 When Donegan came from the States, himself and his daughter were seen parading the principal streets of beautiful Ballyvereen. Come on, my Annie. Her cheeks were as red as a rose. Her hair was a beautiful brown. And the boys, I suppose, were all thick now as rose, all tied to the tail of her gown. Everybody. There were short men and long men and long men and strong men and men. Of the words they had never. Look, no. Heaven. No, 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 no Maeve, you stay here. Stay right here. I don't forget him. It was her. Look, you're again. All right, all right, get in. See anybody? Giovanni. The real estate bodies. Yes, I think so. Oh, no. Johnny, nothing like this. Listen, we both know who did this and why. Now, why don't you get him out of here and get him on that plane? Huh? Yeah, but they don't yeah. have Right. All right, Maeve, Annie, come on. We got a plane to catch. There's no the problem, police. sweetheart. I'm Let's just. Call the police. We'll call them later. Call the police for me, will you, Jack? Now, come on, everybody. Downstairs, get the luggage down, Patrick. Come on, girls. Bye, love. Bye, love. Bye, Jack. Have a good trip. All right. Down we go. Come on, girls. We'll put these in the car. I can't believe this. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Is someone going to tell me what this is about? Hang on, Mayor. Um, have they finished boarding it up up there? Pretty near, pretty near. But it's still freezing up there. Pat, would you stay here a minute? I don't think there's any doubt that that was our friends from CMP Realty. In response to Wes's column on the rent strike. A jumbo stopped by here to tell me he checked out CMP Realty, and they're uh, they're even heavier than I thought. How exactly? Who's behind it? They're uh, too well covered to find out. 
Two covered for Jumbo? Yeah. Jack. So you're saying there's some really big guns here? Well, Pyle is a nobody, and CMP Realty is peanuts. But the parent company is a multi-million dollar operation. But we don't and care how big they are. We've done nothing wrong. The law is the law. Not to everyone. There are a lot of people who are very able at getting around it. In fact, that's how they uh, make their living. Look, I've heard of organized crime, but I refuse to believe that they have any interest in five stupid, crummy little buildings where the boilers don't work. You nitwit. You refuse? What will it take, the brick hitting you in the head? Oh. Heaven help us, she's done it again. What, if, what kind of trouble have you brought on Mother and Da now? Mayor, just a second. This has oh. nothing to do with them. I was acting as Frank's representative, oh, using strictly legal means. Legal on your side. But what about theirs? Nothing to do with mother and daughter when a brick comes crashing through their front window. Somebody could have been standing there. Somebody could be dead. Mary, I was at the tenants meeting when, that, when Ethel was mugged. Then you should and have I know. done something about it then. Jack tried, but no one would listen to him. What's all the shouting well, what about? What was I supposed to do, just cave in when they tried to scare us? I, for one, was not brought up that way, and neither were you. You were brought up to use the brains you were born with. Siobhan, there are some things some people, some situations that are too big to handle. Even for you. I think it's time to accept that fact, call Frank, get the district attorney in on this right away. Look, will you all just shut up for one minute while I tell my side of this? Your side? Your very own Siobhan Ryan against the world again. Jack's trying to tell you it's time to call off the one girl crusade and let the police and the bros take over.